Have you watched Pastelli's video on Arena? Arena is a hot mess. I said a lot of what you said yesterday. Um, no, I haven't actually seen it. Is that something you think I should check out? I'll watch the Pestily video, but don't expect me to agree with everything, okay? I am a competitive player after all. I might have some different opinions. And he gave it a four out of 10. Yeah. What would I give it? I wouldn't give it much better. I'd give it a five or a six at the moment. But the things that I have a problem with are easily fixed. This is Pestilian. Welcome to the Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm talking about Arena. I'm going to go into depth for everything anyway. good, bad, and the ugly uh, for this new game slash mod slash whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's going to be pretty brutal. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. <laughs> now, for anyone who's new to what Escape from Tarkov Arena is, I'll do a quick run through. I'm cracking. Pretty much, Escape from Tarkov Arena I'm is going straight a standalone in. game for, for Escape from Tarkov, where you get to play your okay. PvP aspects of Escape from Guy? Tarkov. Guy? 2v2, 3v3, 5v3, 5 game mode, where uh, it, BSG want to take it to like an esports Bro, level. I, I now, chose the wrong class, If you were to class, buy Escape bro. from Tarkov Edge of Darkness Edition sometime in the past, you are meant to get access in order of how early you bought it. And then also, if you buy the standalone Escape from Tarkov Arena, you'll get access at some point. At this current point, it's mostly just been streamers that have had access, and then also some random people. And then on top of that, <laughs> if people can buy Escape from Tarkov some Arena standalone random people? right now, they're getting instant access. Um, well, you, have get, a, you guys know this shit. Let's just jump game straight into the, what's the issue is, you know. But really, it's, it doesn't really matter if you got a high rank or not. And... That's that's the, the 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 simple part of it. You can go have some seriously harmless fun, uh, jump in with your your friends and all that, and you can get in. The next bit is it is actually quite fun. It can be quite fun when you've got a group of your mates together, and you are slapping and killing everyone, and it's good to go. I do like to preface it. Preface it. I like to make the note here though. Hanging out with your mates can be fun. Pretty much doing anything. You can throw rocks at a, at a tree with your mates and you'll probably have a great time. <laughs> so I always like to press, like give that warning label that yeah, it's fun to play with mates, but obviously most things you do with your mates are pretty fun. So uh, ultimately I think uh, that should be with a little bit of an asterisk next to it. But it is good fun when you are playing with mates. All right, I'm gonna break down the bad into like a lot of things. I'll start literally like from the very beginning uh, of where it starts and then get into that. So into the settings, there is no audio setting for the announcer. Oh, All right, bro. so you don't have any of those extra settings for the announcer, and the announcer is very annoying. He's constantly yelling. <laughs> the crowd's constantly making lots of noise. And then on top of that, you also have issues with, um, when you first get in there, it's like, you know when someone holds a microphone up to a speaker and there's that feedback high-pitched screech? That happens at start of some of the games. Oh, Bro, what? It's horrible. like, yeah, cool. It was funny for the first time, Nikita, but we don't need to hear it like every fifth game. It's really, 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 really irritating and annoying. Now yeah. let's talk about the presets. Agreed. Some of the presets are completely OP. Um, I, I don't really know, remember which ones exactly. Like the stiletto, for example, you get AP ammo and pretty much in all the armors are like class four armors for the, like, the starting ones. So if you like push down to say getting the stiletto, which would probably take 20 games, you 20 wins, mate. Oh, not even 20 wins. Just 20 games. You have the stiletto, and you could be um, using a slug AP20 that can one tap people across the map. It's like some of these things are just really, really powerful. Um, you know, like why would you use that over an SV98, for example, where you have to headshot someone? And then there's other classes. Like I, I was pretty much going going to town. I started off using the uh, STM9, which was this one here. It was absolutely trash. The second I switched over to using the uh, the Keta and getting over to the PP19. I literally went from like dying all the time to like I'm nearly at a two kill death ratio, which I've looked at other people playing this game, uh, just briefly going around. I've been listening to their th their feedback, asking a few questions to other streamers. I've most people aren't over two. Massacred uh, even my my you know, uh, kill death by the way. Between like one and one point five. Absolutely so, shit on my kill death. Uh, I didn't play super serious, but I tried. I I wanted to take it like somewhat serious to see what it would be like if I played the game a little bit more serious. I think some of the big issues with the presets uh, layout, which it kind of annoys me as you are playing through this game mode and you're leveling up your presets you eventually will get down to better and better and better presets right so say for example we get down to here we've got like a class 4 armor arm with the fast mt we've got an ak 104 using you know mai ap ammo which you cut through everyone you know you even got a an mp5 with rip ammo so you can do leg meta and stuff like that now if you were to get all the way down here but you're at a lower rank you're going to get put in to games that the people are using the keta 
Oh, you know, and they've got like shit. pretty much no armor on. So you're going to be just absolutely killing those people and they're not, not even really going to have a chance. And I've been seeing a lot that. of that. People just trying to level up one of their presets, going into games that are, you know, people going all full sweat with the best loadout they can and they're getting absolutely destroyed. They really should have separated and had just locked off ranked mode and just had like an unranked mode for a while so people could for level up their presets. Shit, yeah. So then they could start taking ranked a bit more serious. Because right now you've got like five stacks of like gamers going in, trying to get up the high ranks as quickly as possible. And then you've got other people just saying, hey, I'm Damn. trying to get level up this weapon. And it's kind of a bit great idea, probably executed. I think you're going to hear that a few times from me. All right, so say you do know which preset you want to use when you go in. So you click Arena Battle and you click Ranked. You go next and you queue up. I'm not going to go all the way. Okay, so you see this screen right here. I shouldn't have done that, but... See this screen right here. Now, if I don't accept this, every other person who's been sitting there for those 30 seconds is gonna get booted out and has to re a game. I've clicked in to play the game. I've already said I wanted to play. Why put another accept button in there? I I don't understand it. It's not needed, right? If you've already clicked, you said you wanted to go into that rank game. other games do it. Bam, you should be pushed into that rank game. And there shouldn't be like anyone, you know, not clicking accept like I have yeah, right now. Yeah, it sucks because like I, I want to just hit ready of with time. my boys or right. hit the Q and button, go really get a drink, come back, know that I can be like not affecting the game. All those other people back Bro, not to either having to have a run back, back arena battle hit again, the accept or button. Or put him back in the re -queue, <laughs> which every time I put back in the re -queue, I never got another game. So I had to like back out and queue up again anyway. I think they could have just skipped that entirely. All right, so once you do click accept, you've been picked onto what map you're playing and the people have all said they're going to play that game. So you get the map, it's been dedicated, and then you've got your 10 players, and then you start loading the map. So you load the map, you load the server, you, go, you load the loot, and that takes about a minute and a half to two minutes. Directly after that, you have to pick your preset, which you have 90 seconds to pick your preset. I don't oh, understand, after, after all the experiences we've had with Escape from Tarkov, the main game of Escape from Tarkov, I don't understand why they couldn't have just gone, hey, how do we speed up this whole getting into a game experience? Most people, when they play Escape from Tarkov, they just want to, or particularly this arena mode, they're going to just want to get in there and shoot people. So why couldn't they make it that during that time where you're loading the map and the server, blah, 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 you can't, why can't you just select your preset there? That 90 second timer for selecting your preset could have gone on top of where the loading loot map server thing is, and you've now just cut that three minutes down to 90 seconds. So you've already saved a minute and a half of people's lives. And it's just, it's just, I, I don't know, in my mind, it's so simple. I'll touch on presets and, and, and going into the game a little bit later, but once you pick your preset, you can't change it whilst you're in a match. So why does it matter if you pick it right at the very second just before you go in, or why not why, while you're waiting to load in the, the loot and the map and the server stuff? I think that's just a wasted minute and a half of people's lives. If you do a thousand games, you're, like, you're talking like, you know, probably 20 hours of people's lives that could have been skipped or, or 25 hours of people's life wouldn't need to be wasted just sitting there waiting for the preset menu and the loading loot stuff. I just think these are the kind of things that I would love to see if they've claimed that this is a standalone game and obviously they're using some of the coding from the original, why didn't they implement it here? This is the perfect opportunity for them to do something like that. Damn, to start thinking about how can we make bro. the game more fluent getting in so then people spend less time loading loot and all the other crap and don't, just don't get into the game and start shooting people. That, that's what people want to do. If they're going to play this game, they're going to want to shoot people. Now, touching on that, when you are matching, the other frustrating thing is, if you are matching for two, three, four, five minutes, all you're doing is sitting there watching a timer and a cogwheel, right? You can see this stuff down the bottom, which we can see right here. But in the past, like, we've all vented our frustration about how much time we spend matching. This would have been the perfect opportunity to just show, hey, why can't I just look at my stats while I'm matching? Why can't I click matching and then look at my stats? And on top of that, why can't I look at my teammate's stats? If I've got five people in my, in my team, why can't I just go, hey, I'll check out bloody Red Ops' stats or whoever you're playing with. It doesn't really matter. Check out some of their stats and then that way you can go, all right, sweet. Now I understand like how bad my teammates are or how good my teammates are. <laughs> if those little things, in my opinion, those attention to details that BSG have kind of just dropped the ball on with this and it's reflected in my attitude towards how I think of Arena. So um, it's like, once again, great idea, poorly executed. All right, so you finally do get into a game and now you're starting to combat the other people. There's a couple of frustrations I have with this. Bro, the overall, he's playing like, arena like simple. real Tarkov, dude. If you don't kill them quick enough, um, there's like a capture point. There's generally two capture points. 
it's random which one it is and then if you don't get the capture point quick enough then like a kill squad comes in to kill you if you survive through killing the kill squad then on top of that there's like radiation that comes in and kills you so there is like emphasis to try and push you into fighting each other and finishing the round so that's the emphasis of the game or the preface of the game the next point i want to make is there's a few things now most people playing this that are taking it serious are going in in discord squads of like two to five people they're playing super sweaty and they want to destroy you as much as possible now the other people that don't have friends that are losers like me and just go hey i'm just going to jump in and play the game and i don't have any friends to play with but i might just have some fun the problem with that is your only opportunity to talk to other people is by voip in game proximity VoIP. so horrible the other team i've got discord and they're calling out all the call outs oh yeah we just saw someone over so like you know on the airplane there on the left hand side blah 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 you're sitting there like screaming over VoIP. They can't even hear because they're nowhere near them because it's proximity. I think if they wanted to really make this serious, I know there's an immersive factor that BSG want to do with this game. It's kind of like how there's that- There's a radio key like button. Like screech when you get in. I really wish they would just go, I mean, that hey, should have just been still want to make a competitive key game then. here. So just do team VoIP, all right? It doesn't have to be proximity. Just make it that when you're VoIP, you Why can talk to your whole team. That way you can do call-outs, just like CS and Valorant and all those other games. You can make and call-outs and go, Bro, hey, I, you know, I died over situations. there or whatever. Because the other team are generally doing it. Like, Holy. if you're going up against a five-man squad compared to people with just uh, five individuals, you can tell how quickly they get demolished by the... Um, the you know, I'm watching them on, on live streams. Like the guys that are running in five deep, they're just absolutely destroying the other teams because they're just disorganized and it's just impossible for them to even make a call out or the other teams destroying them. Now, the other thing that really like was grinding my gears is depending on the map, some of the actual so points to the after other the team. first 90 oh. seconds is quite uh, far Makes away. Sense. So okay. for example, in the sawmill, so they're literally like the radio. other side of the map I'll away try. from each other. Now, if you're in like a 2v1 situation, and they split up, one goes to one Too side of the map, one goes to the other, and you're there. fighting one person, and say you do kill them, but the capture point's on the other side, you literally do not have enough time to run over there. So as soon as it says capture, it's like a seven second capture. Seven seconds like, is horrible, so you're 15, so By 20. the time they get on top of it, you try and run across the map, it is not even possible. So they, there's only really two fixes I can think of. One, they either need to make the capture time way longer, like 15 seconds, because then I think that still forces the people to come into each other and fight. So I think that's cool. Or they make the capture point just in the dead center of the map every time. Yeah. So yeah, okay, no you cover. can still be fighting around the outside and the edges. But when that time goes to 90 seconds and it gets down to the point where you can start capturing, converge into the middle. And I think it would just be a lot more fun and a lot less RNG based for what is a competitive Yeah, I don't like the idea of two game, points. Right? Otherwise, what's going to end up happening is if you're going to play this series, you'd always split your team and you'd have one person camp one side, one person camp the other. And then you maybe have like a three man go death squad around trying to kill everyone or something like that. Because it's just, particularly on a map like Sawmill, it's really irritating. But like you're trying to do the right thing. Like, all right, I've killed that guy. I need to try and capture the point. And then like you, you start heading to one side. Next minute, it's like, it's just it's yuck. You'll see it when you play it. You're like, I didn't even have an opportunity to try and either fight or defend that point. It's like having a bomb in CSGO, but the bomb time is only five seconds. So you plant the bomb, <laughs> and you're like, well, what was the chance I had on defusing that? But not being able to change your presets kind of frustrating because if you, I don't know, pick a preset you just don't like, you don't really have any opportunity, you have to play it out. In the esports side of things, when I was watching the actual big tournament they had at DreamHack, I was just thinking like, all they're all using is like MP9s. There's no opportunity for them to switch it up. And then on top of that, there's no economy either. So for example, in a game like CS, you can spend all your money and buy an AWP, but then if you die, it's a big risk, you know? Like in this, it's kind of like, well, it doesn't really matter. Like you could die. You could have four of your five teammates die every single game and it doesn't make any difference because you're getting the exact same loadout every single time. Uh, and that's because there is no internal huh? economy into the actual game. Every round doesn't even matter if you all yeah, die absolutely. as long as you win. Yeah, so like I, I kind of, I know they're not trying to be like CS. They're trying to do their own thing. That's fine. But there needs to be some something else to just being our whole team's pick the mp9 we're running mp9 in this game you know and if i'm going to talk about more presets particularly in competitive matches there should be like some sort of like currency and you build your own preset and then that way you go into a uh, competitive game with some sort of like i'm gonna have two people running like ars and two people running smgs and say maybe running one running a dmr kind of like how you would do uh your talents in league of legends or something there needs to be some sort of like team strategy dynamic on your presets and you should be able to like pre-make them for those tournaments and there should be like a well at the moment i'll quickly show you back here this number over here the mp145 that is actually the gear score so you know they could have it that you pick different loadouts based off 
uh, your gear score. And I think that would be really cool. I'm a bit all over the shop right this very second, but some of these presets don't even have painkillers. Yeah, like see how this one has no painkiller? So you could get legged and you are literally just stuck there. So I think everyone needs to have at least a painkiller, like ibuprofen or any of them. Because like when you, I know that's, I just picked that one randomly, but that's really annoying when uh, you, I was watching people get legged and they're just like, well, I can't even move across the map. And they're like trying to loot all the buddies, bodies to try and find a painkiller. That's hot. Right, just the game. Bro, the play and was definitely see, to go watching streamers the play, PP19. And at the start of it, when they had their fire stack, they'd be screaming at each other, shoot blue, shoot blue, shoot blue, just to remind people. After you've been playing this game and you've gone through a few rounds, you get kind of confused. Hey, am I shooting the red guys or the blue guys? And you, you press tab to check your armband. Just a little <laughs> square at the bottom center just says blue team or red team. Just to give you that reminder, because you are playing this game over and over again, and you're constantly switching who you're shooting at. And I literally put my crosser on someone yesterday. He was walking by, not looking at me. He was an enemy, and I had to take it off of him, go into my tab, now, the other check and see if he was the enemy, was and he was gone. I actually was, like, was hoping for it to be a lot better. Was the <laughs> FPS? I was sitting on between 100 and 120. Imagine FPS doing that in the Counter Strike match. match. No, I actually asked a few other streamers. Simple. To chuck up there Stares right at him. He's gonna take him out. Horrible, but it's not. Ops, not to shoot him at all. Computer and other people were on really good computers. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. I think if they did some of these things that I suggested, like some fixes and quality of life changes, I think this could be a really fun game mode that people could really enjoy. But personally, at this current stage, if I was to say this was to be released today, I'd give it like a 4 out of 10 at best. I agree with everything he says. And I also agree that I went down the wrong route on my character. Here's another thing. I, because I've taken so much time off of not playing Arena, I'm about to load up playing with the same crew I did yesterday, except they're now gonna be really leveled up. The people I play against are now gonna be really leveled up. And I get the feeling based off what chat's saying, there's gonna be alt and helmets everywhere. So it's like, uh, you know, and I, I get that I chose that, but my choice is play with friends, you know what I mean? Or play alone, I, I choose to play with friends there, but you know, man, it was way worse than I thought it would be in terms of balance.